Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Roborock Q5 Robot Vacuum and Self Empty Dock. It's the new mid-range offering from Roborock. We put it through all kinds of tests this week to see how it stacks up against other Roborocks and other robot vacuums in this price range. So links in the description and let's get started. First, the basics. The Q5 Plus is a kind of stripped down version of higher end Roborocks. Literally stripped down. It's like three pounds lighter than the S7 Max V, which I should be reviewing next week if all goes well. But the point is it was designed to be the minimalist version of a LiDAR robot vacuum with an auto empty bin. It does not have a mopping system, for example, like most Roborocks do. And the auto empty bin is a new design, which I assume is cheaper to manufacture than the previous version. It has Roborock's older style brush roll and a few other changes intended to bring the price down, but it still has most of the things that made Roborock's the brand to beat when it comes to LiDAR based robot vacuums, as we will see. Starting off with the pros, the power was pretty good. Roborock says it has 2,700 pascals of suction, which is more than their previous flagship, the S7, had. And in our tests, where we measure its airflow and suction, we found it to have good power specs as well. It seemed to be comparable to their higher end robots like the S5, S6, and S7 in terms of the numbers. Another huge pro was its ability to deep clean carpets. In our deep clean test, it got an 84, which is well above average and the best score I've ever seen with any Roborock, including the latest flagship, the Roborock S7 Max V. So if you're wondering if it's good with carpets, the answer is definitely yes. That power in combination with what seems to be the same adaptive brush roll housing seen on the S7 made it also do great with the crevice pickup test. I've always praised Roborocks for their efficient pickup of debris on the surfaces of hard floors and carpets, what I call sweeping, and the Q5 was no different. It did as good as the higher end Roborocks with this, including with heavier debris like cat litter, which it picked up even in its default power mode. Its battery life was a pro. It has the same size battery as the premium Roborocks at 5200 milliamp hours, and Roborock says it can get three hours of runtime on low power, which is incredibly good. For comparison, most premium Roombas have a battery life of around 1 hour and 15 minutes. It will also return to the dock automatically to recharge, and it has recharge and resume, where it will continue cleaning after recharging exactly where it left off until it completes the job. Navigation was a pro. Roborock has been a leader in the robot vacuum world, partly because their LiDAR navigation in combination with the app features have always been solid. It does what it's supposed to do without a lot of glitches. And in both the studio and at my house, I found there to be very little difference with the Q5 in terms of navigation with the more expensive Roborocks. It got the same near 100% coverage in about the same amount of time as the other Roborocks, and at my house it mapped it very quickly. It has this new mapping only mode where it doesn't clean, but just looks around and tries to get the basic structure of the house, which only takes a few minutes. I really do like that. It did it on the first try. It did get stuck on the bathroom rug on the first run when I wasn't filming, but on the second run when I was filming, it didn't get stuck on the rug. In any case, I think it's probably a good idea to pick up the stuff that it could get stuck on or to make a no-go zone around it. The app is a big pro for Roborox. It has all the new advanced features like no-go zones where you draw lines or boxes on the map in the app to keep it from going where you think it might get stuck, which I found to be as accurate as any other Roborock or any other LiDAR robot vacuum for that matter. It also has zone cleaning where you can tell it to clean one area only and you can integrate all this with the scheduling features. The final pro is the auto empty bin. This is where when the robot finishes its its cleaning job and returns to the base, a motor in the base kicks in and sucks the debris out of the robot's dustbin into the included disposable bag, which Roborock says can hold 2.7 liters or seven weeks of dirt, which is different from the previous bags from Roborock and is actually a better design than the older bag system, in my opinion, too. In our tests, the Q5 Plus dock also worked with the dock from the S7 Plus, though I haven't tested it with the new Ultra dock, but I doubt it would work there. Moving on to the cons. We tested the brush roller, which as I mentioned is the older style Roborock brush, basically three generations back, and it did get some pet hair tangled around it in the home tests and some human hair tangled in the studio tests, which is common for robot vacuums, but it's a definite downgrade from the other Roborocks. The good news is that the Q5 is compatible with the new style brush rollers if you buy one separately, and in the tests we did with the upgraded roller, it was better with pet hair and some better with human hair, but not a lot. Another thing is that during the torture test where I have it vacuumed vacuum my house where I have two cats after a week of not vacuuming at all and it got hair stuck in the evacuation process. This is normal. 
really most other robot vacuums fail at this test too, and it's solved by running the robot more times a week so the hair doesn't build up. For example, we run a robot vacuum two or three times a week to keep up with all the pet hair, and it's never really been a problem. The Q5 did clean all the hair perfectly in the tests after this, but I suspect it's just a hair, no pun intended, worse than the other Roborock docks when it comes to how much hair it can evacuate at one time. Also, it's not a mop. Most Roborocks have had mopping capability to this point, but the Q5 does not. So the Q5 is for the person who wants a quality robot vacuum with all the important features but none of the frills, who prioritizes LiDAR navigation and auto-empty bins, and doesn't care as much about mopping. I think the Q5 Plus is a great buy at this price. There are other competitors with similar features, but I like the Roborock all things being equal, mainly because of the navigation, the app, the general pickup ability, and carpet cleaning ability. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.